Where's the bomb part? Come on, bomb, bomb. Oh! Oh! Found it! Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Brick Rigs, and today we've got several things planned. I'm going to be checking out quite a few military creations. I'm going to be modifying one of the creations that I built last episode to make it a little bit more destructive, because the theme today is going to be to level the city. I know that sounds a little bit sadistic, but I absolutely love destruction, so that's what we're going to do. But anyways, we've got a creation here, and this is kind of a... Uh, this is a cool creation, but I want to say it's a little bit of a mean creation, too. It is a bomb, and I cannot pronounce the guy's name. I will flash it up on screen uh, who made this, but I'm really curious. How does this work? Like, I see these tanks on the bottom, and I can only imagine the amount of destruction this is going to cause. Uh, this thing actually turns wonky, too. What the heck? Uh, oh, okay. Drives a little sideways. You know what? We might blow ourselves up here. Hmm. Let's hop off this real quick. What is the solution? Toggle thruster. Oh. Um. Uh. I don't know if we're in a safe area to do this, but. There we go. What the heck? I don't. I don't get it. Where's the bomb part? Come on. Bomb. Bomb. Oh! Oh! Found it! Alright, so I have a little bit of a safer solution to destroying the uh, bomb there. I don't really particularly want to stand like right next to it when it goes off. I'd love to see its glory. So you can see it down the street there and what we're going to do... I've got a KV-1 tank. This is by Conquet. Uh, we actually covered one of his vehicles last episode and he just recently released this one. So let's see... I believe we are about lined up here and ready to fire. Let's go ahead and give this a try. Oh, okay, a little, little to the right, a little to the right. There it goes. Oh, that works good. Oh, that is so epic. You know, I kind of want to spawn a whole lot of those and destroy it. I don't know what the point, or at what point we might actually crash the game, but uh, that's uh, that's awesome. Actually, this has got a really strong gun on it. Oh, yeah. Man, I really wish these would fire faster. And Oh, yeah, we're going to wind up taking down a whole lot of buildings with this thing. Ah, this is great. You know, I really wish, and I probably say it almost every episode, they really need to make the train destroyable. Like, I've had two episodes based around trains trying to destroy them, or at least trying to put them to the test, and I haven't been able to accomplish that because it's not an actual thing, and I don't know, that makes me a little angry. Kind of wish they'd change that, and... Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. Oh. 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 Okay, I didn't know that was a thing, so apparently the buildings can fall into each other. Okay, so I have a master plan here, and I don't know why this thing drives better backwards than it does forward. Uh, what we're going to do, I've already set out a couple bombs. I want to set out some more here. We're going to create a chain reaction. I want to watch the city fall basically in one little setting. So I've got a bomb down there. I need a bomb by the skyscrapers over there because that's going to probably, hopefully, make them crash into each other. So... Uh, this one could probably go down in this intersection. This thing still really drives funky. Actually, no, we're gonna stick it right here. This should catch both of these buildings. So we got one here, one down there. I'm gonna put one o over on the... I guess it's gonna be the street over here. And then we're gonna stick a couple down in this direction. And then we'll set with the tank and just shoot it and try to create some sort of chain reaction. I don't know if it's gonna work in the game, but in my head it works. All right, folks, I think I've placed enough of these little explosives, so I think we might have a little bit of a decent domino effect. I'll just see what happens. I love the, uh, the destruction physics in this game. It's amazing, so I hope this turns out good. We're going to start from down here because this is where the trail kind of leads up to. Now, if the screen goes black, you know the game crashed because right now I'm only running at about eh, 35 frames. So uh, here goes nothing. And... Oh! Oh. Oh, 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 there goes the second one. Oh, seven frames. Uh, oh, this game has just freaked out. Okay, that... That didn't go quite as planned. 
Uh, let's go ahead and set a couple more off here. That game does not like explosions like that. Okay, uh, now we know that's a thing. So, I don't think we're gonna quite get the domino. Where's my gun at? Okay, let's go ahead and repair the vehicle real quick. All right, here we go. Ah, uh, here we go. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> oh, I just heard another one go off. Where'd that one go off from? That sounded like it was behind me. All right, so we're not quite getting the domino effect. I don't know if we could place that many close together. Uh, it's already lagging so bad right now. Uh, let's see. Can we hit the one down there? Oh, that's the building. Oh, come on. A little down. A little down. Actually, no, we might collapse that building. I've got one in the street over there, so... Uh, come on. Oh, here we go. Actually, no, let's go forward real quick. See if we can get a bit closer. I don't know what's wrong with our gun. It's freaking out here. Uh, let me reset to the other side, see if we can set a couple more of these off. Here comes another one. There we go. <laughs> oh, okay, that was a little bit of a domino there. I'm hearing more explosions, like we're hitting some of the other ones. Actually, we are hitting some of the other ones. So yeah, it works pretty good. Not as well as I wanted it to, but I don't know if the game can handle that right now. They did eliminate the, uh, the block count. They used to have like a little lock on it. I think it was like 600 or something. Uh, but that's gone now, so it's just basically, you can put as many blocks as your system can handle. Uh, even with the 1070 here, I'm pretty sure I can't handle half the city going down. Oh, there's another one! <laughs> uh, let's see, am I missing any over here? Yeah, we did a pretty good bit of damage though, I'm pretty proud of that. Or I don't know if I should be proud of that, but I think it's just cool looking. Uh, trying to test out the destruction physics, I think we have another one right around the corner here. There's one. Uh-oh. Uh oh uh oh too far, too far. Oh, this thing's up. Uh, actually, I think I'm missing... No, I'm not missing wheels. It just kind of drifts. All right, let's go ahead and take this one out. Uh, some of these are rigged together, so this might set off... Oh, there we go. Oh. Oh. Oh, that worked out pretty good. Oh! <laughs> oh, I'm hearing more explosions. Ah, this is pretty cool. Oh, here's another one. Ah, yeah, these aren't quite, you would have to have these things like right beside each other. I'm, I'm surprised the explosion, it doesn't go out quite as much as you would want it to, to create that big explosion effect and hopefully hit into the other ones. So yeah, you'd have to go really close. Uh, we got another one right here. Come on, come on. Oh, I might be a little close for this one. Oh, yep, yeah, that was a bit close. <laughs> oh, well. Anyways, I better reset the city here because this thing is absolutely lagging right now. Alright, so here is what used to be the zombie buster. We might be calling this the city buster now. I've added guns to it. I made it look a little bit more military-like. I'm using a uh, new camo on there. And I do not remember these camos being a thing at all. Uh, I could have missed them completely and that's my bad, but... We added the navy camo on there. I wanted to add the urban one, but the navy one just looked a little better to me. Now, the one thing I wish you can do, and I don't know why it's not a thing, but maybe that'll be in the future. I would like to be able just to overlay the camo on the vehicle, because you can see with every block, the camo resets. So it kind of gives it a little bit of a funky look. But yeah, uh, we have five guns now at the top, and then we have actuators and five more guns. So... In theory, the bottom guns are just going to be stationary, they go straight forward, but the top guns you should be able to go up and down with. So I think this will work, these are the machine guns. Uh, I don't believe bullet fall offs a thing in the game at all, so I don't have to worry about that. Uh, I'm trying to think, is, is there anything else I could add to this? Kind of curious, where were those uh, turbines? I was looking for those thrusters that were on the bombs. Uh, I don't think it's going to be that. Uh, it's not under guns. Question is, where is that? Thrusters, here we go. Hmm, do we want to make it also a bomb? I don't know. This is might truly be a city buster. We might just strap the whole thing, or at least stack them up on the back here and just have it ready to go if we need to blow it up. Okay, so I've made some modifications to the zombie buster, which is now the city buster. It, I don't want to use it to try to set those bombs off. But I'm going to use it just to try to test it out here. I don't think this is going to be really good to get around with. I, I made a little mistake. I put too many thrusters on here, I think. So I think it'll work really good as far as if I want to run it into something, it's going to blow up. But, oh, actually, yep, see, yep, that's what happens. Wow. That was impressive. Whoa. <laughs> 
All right, let's uh, recover real quick. So yeah, well now we basically have a rocket city buster. So let's go ahead and turn it here. The guns work pretty good. Uh, you can actually actuate up and down. So say you want to move, I think, which one does it? Only one of them does it. It's going to be this one here. So you do have control of your up and down, but you still need to turn uh, left and right to get the same to actually aim. And you know what? Let's see. What kind of speed can we get here? This is way too fast for the zombie buster. <laughs> what the heck? Uh, oh, well, there's the back end. Um, I don't know where we're going. But, yeah, we're, we're gone. Oh, this is going to be bad. When we hit the ground here, we're going to completely blow up. And there we go. That cockpit holds up way better than it should. I mean, the driver's still intact. He's probably not having a very good day, but he's still there. Uh, let's spawn that one more time. All right, so we pretty much just made a really dysfunctional vehicle here. I'm not sure it works very good, but it does fire, and it does apparently fly now, so we've got that going for us. But yeah, I'm probably going to rip the thrusters off that and just have a standard... Whoa! That was pretty... Oh, the guns are still firing. So yeah, I'll probably just have a, a standard military version of that and get rid of the uh, thrusters on the back. Anyways, let's move on to the next thing. All right, folks, I have an extremely cool vehicle. This is probably my new favorite vehicle in Brick Riggs. This is M983, I think it's a Hemet. It's a, I don't want, I want to say it's like a Russian military vehicle. It looks very similar to the Maz military vehicle. Uh, it's made by Grouch and this thing actually does everything. Got a really sweet cab up here, tons of wheels. This thing's got like, I think it said 640 or 660 parts, which is absolutely insane. Uh, it's even got this big gun on the back, like an artillery gun. Uh, it's got even these little pistons that fold down. So say if you want to decouple the trailer, you can actually set these down, or I'm pretty sure they can be used to uh, stabilize the gun. So we can make those go down like that. So we're on the ground here, and the gun, you can adjust it from out here. Uh, you can go up and down, and if you look at the turret, it's a really weird how you control certain things here in brick rigs. Uh, but yeah, you can adjust those from here, and I'm pretty sure you can adjust those from in the cockpit. So let's go ahead. Let's fire. Okay, we are a bit high, and let's see. Is there a good way to do this from inside here? Uh, it's coupling. Which one? There's so many little dots on here. It's kind of hard to find which one's actually going to move it. Okay, that's that side. Let's move over. Nope, that's going to be that one. So it's going to be probably this here. There we go. There we go. We're hitting the top of the building there. Let's go ahead. Oh. Oh. Oh, there we go. All oh, right. Oh, that is way too cool. Yeah, I'm kind of curious if this would work in a uh, multiplayer. Sometimes things work a little funky in multiplayer, so I don't know if the game would actually be able to keep up with what's going on. Come on, building, go down. See if I can get one of these buildings is going to go down. I don't know, I'm able to put a lot of holes in it here, and it's not. There it goes. <laughs> oh, this is too too fun, too fun. So yeah, let's uh let's see how she drives. Actually, let's go ahead. We're gonna take put these up actually I think the connection is on that side so let's go up here there we go and we're gonna go up here now, I know some people are probably like hey why don't you just run it into the train like you normally do I don't think I'm gonna do that here I think we're gonna actually drive this thing and ooh, okay it's a bit slow I don't know what type of engine setup he's got here I'm pretty sure this would take a lot to power so yeah we're getting at it let's go uh, second gear help no, it's only got one gear, so you're in first gear. So it's not necessarily a fast mover, but I couldn't really picture it being a fast mover. I mean, geez, it's got a huge gun. The thing's huge itself. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I, I know. I'm so tempted to run it into a train. Um, let's take a let's take a left here. You know that turns surprisingly well. That is one thing that is surprising about this craft. Ah, uh, screw it. We're gonna go find a train. I'm gonna go run it into that. Just because I think it's going to be really cool because there's a lot of blocks here. Oh, I can hear the train coming. That was easy. Here we go. This is going to be awesome. Whoa. <laughs> oh, wow. That's a lot of parts. Oh, oh, I thought we were going to land back on the track and get hit again. That's going to be brutal. But anyways, guys, that's probably going to about wrap it up for today's episode of Brick Rigs. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any suggestions for future episodes, any challenges, any builds, anything you want to see, uh, let me know below. I was getting a lot of questions or a lot of uh, requests for 
uh, racing the train, and I was going to attempt that, but I'm not really sure what kind of vehicle I want to use. Plus, I'll probably use some workshop creations to also race against it. So we might do that, but if you have any suggestions, comment below. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we will see you guys next time on Brick Rigs. Thank you!